Look at this beautiful zucchini. Welcome back to the homestead. We need to preserve these because we just can't eat them fast enough. Today is just a regular weekday here on the homestead. I got a lot of stuff going on. Let me show you around the house real quick before I show you how to preserve this thing. We've got our homeschool set up here. We've got a little robotics and reading for this afternoon. We've got the girls building towers in here and <laughs> doing a fun job of that, having a good old time. But we wanted to show you how to preserve and freeze zucchini because there are some things that you need to know that are important. And one of those is that blanching works incredibly well. Now you're going to need to blanch these first. And we got our blanching station over here on the stove setup. We've got a pot of boiling water with a strainer in it. And we've got a bowl here full of, well, it had ice in it a second ago, but we've got some ice water and we've got an area here to dry off our zucchinis. First thing to do is slice this zucchini up, all right? We're going to slice these into, take the end off there, we're going to slice these into half inch rounds. That's going to give a nice thickness to it that, uh, that holds together well and is going to freeze nice and evenly in the bag that we're going to use. And you, just, you can see behind us, we've got our brand new vacuum sealer back here that we're going to pack these into. All right, there we go. Make sure these are apart from one another. Let's get these in our boiling water. Now, make sure two things with that boiling water. One, you only put them in there for one minute. That's really important. You don't want to cook them. You just want to blanch them. What blanching does is it kills those enzymes in the zucchini or at least on the outer layers of the zucchini so that they don't start to break down the zucchini while it's frozen because they can still do that. Additionally, you don't want to put salt in your water, your, uh, your blanching water, and here's why. You can with some other things like beans, so on and so forth, something with a really tough and hard uh, texture, but zucchini is very soft. And it will start to soften all the cell walls, that salt will, all the cell walls of that zucchini, resulting in a mushy zucchini. You do not want that. We're trying to keep the zucchini as firm as possible. That's why we're vacuum bagging it. That's why we're blanching it. That's why we're not adding salt. So let's get it in that water for one minute. No more and really no less. So one minute is perfect. It's really important to stop that cooking of the zucchini by dunking it in that ice water bath. What we're going to do now is another important step. We're going to take it out and we're going to dry it because we are going to freeze this twice. We are going to take this after we've patted it dry. We're going to put it on a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper and put it in the freezer. We're going to freeze it from there and that really helps in the bagging process with a food sealer because it firms things up. Obviously they're frozen solid now and it firms things up and it doesn't smash them in the bag. Got them on our parchment paper. Let's get them in the freezer. Now that we've pulled our pre-frozen zucchini out of the freezer, we are going to package it up in our vacuum seal bag here. And we're gonna have some great zucchini that's gonna hold its firmness for future cooking. Now this isn't gonna be like uh, fresh zucchini in its firmness and texture, but this is the best method that we have found. We hope you enjoyed the information here. I hope it was helpful. And we wanna see here on a permanent basis. So hit that subscribe button. 
share us on social media, and go visit us on countrylivingexperience.com. You'll find things like this food saver on there, which we really, really love. It's helped us out with preserving our food a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.